Hi, my name's Baden Lucas and welcome for this week's buyer tip. Here are a few tips when it comes to open for inspection etiquette. Now, firstly, just note that our agents are typically doing anywhere between five and 10 open for inspections on Saturday. So it's a busy day for us, it's a busy day for our vendors. So please, if you do arrive early for one of our open for inspections, just be patient, we'll always be there. The second tip is be prepared to provide your contact information. First name, last name, phone number, and email address. A lot of people ask why we have to give our email address, and the simple answer is this. You must provide your email address so we can send you a copy of the Section 32. It just helps us save that question afterwards that if you want a copy of the contract or a Section 32, we've got that email, and with a click of a button, we can have it in your inbox even before you leave the open for inspection. Another reason that we need your contact information is because the owners are well within their right to know exactly who is inspecting their property. And really importantly, from a property and a transactional point of view, we wanna know what you like about the property and importantly, what you don't like about the property so the vendors can get that feedback as well. So if you get a call from us on a Monday, just make sure that you're able to provide us with that information. It does just help us educate our owners and provide that feedback that they're looking for in the sale of their property. If you've decided a property isn't for you, respectfully, please leave your comments to yourself. Don't share them loudly with other people at the open for inspection. Just be respectful and remember that other people are on their property journey also, and they actually might be quite interested in the property. So walking around by saying things like, oh gee, this is too small, or this is too expensive, those sorts of comments don't actually help you in the property purchase, and they certainly don't help in anyone else as well. If you do think a property is a little bit too expensive, or you think that the, owner, the agent or the owner is wanting too much, that's really great feedback. Give that feedback to an agent and say, hey, instead of that's too expensive, why not frame it like this? Um, could you just tell me how the owners arrived at that price or how you as the agent arrived at that price? And we as agents actually will be able to give you that insight and to explain why we've priced it a property. Whether you agree or not at the end of the day is entirely up to you, but that sort of feedback does help uh, when we're actually getting the question, how did you arrive at that price? Okay, so my final tip for open for inspection etiquette if you're with a buyer is just enjoy the experience. Make sure that you take the time, have a look through, ask the questions that you want to ask at an open for inspection, put a smile on your face and we'll put a smile on ours. Thanks so much for joining me with this week's buyer tip. I look forward to seeing you at one of our open for inspections soon. Cheers.